channel and today I will create and show you how to make a paintbrush slideshow inside After Effects. You can download the project file in the link given below. So let's jump into our proper tutorial. Okay, let me start by importing my asset go to file import and file go to my asset folder and highlight it import folder and I will go to composition new composition and I will name it tile 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 3 seconds duration the background is black click ok I will again go to my composition new composition and I will name it texture same 920 by 1080p 30 frames per second 3 seconds duration and I will click OK and I will again create a new composition and I will name it main one and I will click OK and I will create a folder here and I will rename it scene 1 and I will drag all the composition that I made in here drag it up I want to move this one to the folder where the scene 1 is located and then go to my title and I will go to the type tool and type friends I'm using wrap land of future and I will change this to 200 pixels and then I will realign it I want it at the center of my composition and then I will open the texture I will go to my image drop down on my timeline the texture and I will just manually resize it and then go to main I will drag down the texture and I will drag down the title and press T for opacity and click the stop achieve to create a creep frame and I will move my playhead to about one second and I will make it a hundred hold on I will just go back because this one should be zero first and go to one second and make this a hundred and then go back to my project file and drop down the brush in between the tile and the texture layers and right click my mouse go to time and time remapping and I want to go my play to about one second and 20 frames and I will move this here and make this add and I will probably just duplicate this one and I will move the other one on the other side like that and I will press T on my opacity and I will just make this one 50% and I will go back to my project file and drop down the alpha math on my timeline make this one overlay I'll just go back this one because it seems it's not 100% I just want to change it I will just close this one and create another composition new composition and I will name it placeholder one 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 3 seconds duration and again I will go to my composition and I will make new composition 
new composition and I will name it text placeholder one. This time I will change the width to 1200 and the height is 400. And I will grab the text tool and I will type Amanda. I'll change the font size to 100. I will center it. I will also make another folder here. And I will name it scene 2. And I will drag the composition that I made on that folder. Then I will close this one and go to main. Duplicate it. And drag it up to scene 2. Close this title. Texture and the main one go to placeholder open the assets go to image and photos i'll just choose this one drop it down to my timeline and press s on my keyboard to rescale it down and p for the position i'll just move it down a bit move on the right side a bit i think that's okay open the main double click it press hold and alt on your keyboard and highlight the title and change it to text placeholder and then also the placeholder here just drop it down to your timeline what we will do here is to highlight these brushes all we have to do is to highlight these brushes and delete it go to your footage and drop down the brush one on top of the placeholder and also the text brush just drop it down here and make this text brush add we will first hide this one and we will first do this placeholder and make this also brush add if you can see the track mat in here just toggle the switches in here so i will make this placeholder luma mat this is what we're gonna have to do i will also enable this one so we can see the text and i want this text at the bottom so i will press p on my keyboard for the position and then drag this down move this on the right side it's also okay right there so when we play this one you can see i also wanted to create a keyframe on the opacity of this text so i will click t on my keyboard keyframe in here in one second and 10 frames and move this second to about one second and 20 frames so we will play this and let's see if you want to move the opacity you frame to a more earlier one you can move it i want to move it here so it's nice to look at maybe here i will move it here there you go So now I will close this one again and close these folders and I will create another folder and I will name it scene 3 and I will highlight the compositions in the scene 2 folder and duplicate it and drag it up to my scene 3 folder and then double click it to open it up close this compositions here and go to the placeholder and delete this image and go to your assets and drag down the image that you want to put in here so i want this one drag it down press s for scale and 
scale it down i think this is good enough i will just also click p for the position and i will just drag it down i think that's good enough and i will go and open the placeholder and i will change this text double click it and i will name it l'oreal till rough lanoc future at 100 pixel size and then go to main close this first and then click and hold alt on your keyboard highlight this text placeholder one change it to text placeholder two and then the placeholder two you have to change this from placeholder one to placeholder two and then we want to move this probably on the other side so press p on your keyboard and move this one on the right side so this is how it goes so close this one again and probably we will just change the brush for example if you want to change the brush to this kind of brush all you have to do is to I'll click your keyboard and drag it down and right click my mouse go to time and time remapping enable time remapping and then if you want just drag the keyframe here and let's see if you will play this one nice If you want to scale the brush, it's okay. Just press S and scale it up. So if you will play again, nice. Eh? So I will close this one again. Our tutorial is done, and uh, I hope, guys, that you learn something on it. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And press the notification bell so that you will be updated to the videos that I'm gonna be uploading and to those subscribers that I have thank you very much and for those people who are not yet subscribing please subscribe and my thoughts for today guys is that spend time thinking of what you want rather than what you don't want Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.